Greetings everybody and welcome back to our third playthrough of Death Road to Canada. I am the Duck of Indeed, though the Duck of Indeed is not present in this game because I already died. I'm dead. I lasted a while this time, but I died. Now it's what I call Team Psychonauts. We've got Crispin, Fred Bonaparte, and Dr. Lobato. Yes. So in this episode, we've got five days left, so we're either going to reach Canada or I'll die. We'll see what happens. I assume we're all gonna die. Probably. But let's see what happens. Five days. Can we do it? Fred is fully healed. Everyone's in good shape. Fred can't have full health because he's a frantic whiner. So you always have lower health with them apparently. We get overwhelmed by a horde and flee for a nearby factory. There must be another way out inside. Thick, irritated, zombie forecast. That's no good. Well, Crispin's got his gun. There's not much weapons left. Do I have? Okay, he's got a shotgun. Fred doesn't really have all that much right now. Fred can at least run fast. That helps. Yeah. Okay. I'm controlling Crispin, because he's my favorite. Okay, let's go! Come on, Team Psychonauts! Come on! You guys can do it! I've got a gun! I've got a gun! Two of us have guns! Come on, we gotta find a way out of here! Just gonna blindly run around and see if we can find an exit. Come on, you guys! Oh no, a lot of zombies! There's a lot of them! I'm just gonna randomly run around. Hoping we'll find something eventually. Maybe. I saved my gun for really bad situations such as this. Oh, here we go. Okay. We're getting out of here. Oh yeah, we're getting there. Will we make it? No one ever listens to me. The group feels inspired. More strength for Crispin or the other stuff? Let me see. Everyone's health is as good as it's gonna be. Morale is actually really good right now. Mor our morale is fine, but it might be good to have a random skill gain. Does Crispin need more strength? I don't know. I'll go with that. Random skill gain. Every day is a great teacher. Crispin's mechanical skills. Dr. Lobato's mechanical skills. Two Zombo points. Fred's medical skills increase. Okay. Oh yeah. The group hides in a drafty old house. Some zombies roam around outside. The doors of the house are barely on their hinges. Should someone barricade the house? Stay on watch all night. Crispin's the only one with any intelligence. So if anybody should barricade the house, you should think it'd be him. Everybody else is kinda dumb, but his fitness is really terrible. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna have Crispin do it. He quickly reinforces problem spots. They now seem very secure. Yeah, mechanical increases. Okay. Very good. Crispin is just the smartest one in the group. Seems worth it to run past a horde instead of fighting. I would agree! A gas station far off the main road. Someone has looted it. There's no zombies in sight. The gas pumps are old and aren't functioning. Dr. Lobato crawls into the tank. Why, though? Leave the pumps alone. Crispin attempts to fix. I mean, he could try it, though. He probably can't. It takes some fumbling, but he gets the pumps running. Whoa! His mechanical increases, and he gets a lot of gas. Oh, yeah! We are super gassy now. Are we there yet? We're getting there. It's Charlotte. It's nice to see a familiar face. She's kicking a car in frustration. It is emitting plumes of smoke. It's my Animal Crossing character, Charlotte. Friend of dog. Haven't encountered any dogs yet. Let's go, Charlotte. Team Psychonauts plus Charlotte. The group decides to make a stop for supplies. What is our gas right now? Let's see, only four driving days left. We have a lot of gas. We have a decent amount of food. Not much, I mean, we have some good stuff. Not much medical supplies. Everyone's in good shape. 
Deadly Yolmart, apartment rescue, or cabin rescue. I just don't know. I just don't know if we should just keep going. We do have some good supplies. Burn some gas in hopes of finding more interesting places. Let's do the prepper cabin. That should be good. Crispin knew some people that became crazy preppers long before the zombies happened. Their cabin is located nearby and it's still fairly early. Okay. What do you got, Charlotte? You don't have much. I'll just give you what there is. Let's go, team. Prepper cabin! Okay, where is it? You guys are doing good! Oh no, I got injured! I got injured! I can't start being silly at this point! I can't start being silly! You gotta be wise! Don't start being dumb! Okay? Come on, you guys. You could do it. What is this thing? What is this thing? I want to pick up some other stuff. I got a shotgun now. I got a shotgun and I don't I don't want to use it right now. Get it, get away from me. Is that it? I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. I'm a bit anxious to keep going. Are we gonna make it? We're getting so close to Canada! There were even pine trees outside when we were driving earlier. The car is... is not starting. Start the car! Start the car! It's not working! The car! Go! This car is in bad shape. We got some stuff. Okay. Crispin needs... Okay. Maybe we should turn back. Really? Maybe you should shut up. Lobato keeps snapping at everybody. He is in a bad mood. The car is broken down. Crispin's mechanical abilities are getting better, so we can see if he can fix it. Ah. It refuses to start. Well, he tried. We're in good health right now. Mauled by a feral cat? Then they have a picture of a cute tabby cat to the left. Dr. Lobato is walking along the road when he is suddenly mauled by a feral cat. Feral cats coat the United States after the zombo zombo zombocalypse. You never see them, but they're always watching, waiting for any weakness. Dr. Lobato is hurt and his morale decreases because we are attacked by a feral cat. Crispin stubs his toe. It's not a big deal, but it is really annoying. He is also hurt. Really? We were doing so good, and you guys are stubbing your toes and doing stupid things. Walking through the countryside and stumbles on burnt-out cars. This is a good opportunity to check if one of the cars works. Okay. Okie dokie, then. Uh, yeah. Let's go, team. Let's go! Let's, uh... Do, am I out of ammo or something? Oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want right now. There's some gas. Use that thing. Whatever the heck it is, I'll just use whatever that thing is. Yeah, any of the car is gonna work. We really need a car. Whenever you lose your car, you're in bad shape. Let's see. Okay, we got a car again. We're getting so close. Can we make it? There are organs everywhere. Holy cow. Okay. You guys are doing okay. Campground smells terrible. The source of the smell is a mystery. Feces. I mean, just just deal with it. Cover your noses. They endure the smell zone all night until passing out. They are not happy in the morning, but they are at least able to sleep. Our morale decreases. Hmm. Most of them are pretty happy except for Charlotte. You big babies, just cover your noses. Anyone want to do a sing-along? We should do a shut-up along. Everybody's snapping at poor Fred. The group is traveling close to nightfall and sees a city. The zombies grow more aggressive. Apartment with help banner or restaurant. I do not know. The zombies are calm. I don't know, we could get a reward from the person if we help them. Hmm. I want your 
your shotgun, Lobato. Give me. Give me your shotgun. I want it. That is mine now. Ha ha ha. That is mine. I'm taking that from you. Well, you actually don't have any good weapons right now, though. Fine, you can have one of mine then. You can have one of my weapons because I stole one of yours. Okay. There we go. Wait. Wait. Boom. There you go. I'm sorry, but Crispin's my favorite, so I have a little bit more motivation to keep him alive. Ha ha ha. Where's the apartment with the help banner? There it is. We're gonna go for that first. Most important thing first. Okay, everybody. Let's go. Let's find that person. I'm just conserving ammo at the moment. Let's see if we can find them. Hopefully they will reward us. There you are. Hello. Jacob says that he really wants to get out of this place. Makes sense. Let him follow you. Okay. He could be useful if you get him out of here alive. Or a handy distraction if you can't. Uh, yeah. We'll try to get you out alive, Jacob. Don't worry. Alrighty. You better have a good reward for us. I'm only saving you because I want a reward. I must be rewarded. I don't know why. Let me see. I'm just going to save my ammo right now. The zombies aren't too bad at the moment. Let us go. Did I go this way? No, I don't think so. Yeah, the zombies are not doing a lot. We are getting so close. This is my third playthrough. It would be cool if we already made it. Come on, Jacob. Let's go. It is late. We probably do not want to be in here too long. It's dark and it is late. You guys are doing good. Junk. Keep on going. Come on, Crispin. I think... I think you guys need to get out of here soon. But yeah, it's getting too dark. We need to get out of here. We need to get out. This is getting... A bit too dangerous. Let's get back to the car, okay? Okay. Let's go. Oh, Charlotte! Charlotte! Yeah, Charlotte almost didn't make it into the car. We don't want to leave her behind. Can you leave people behind? I would imagine you can. Hello, Jacob. Crispin sizes up his skills. He offers a reward and thanks for saving him. None of his skills are very good. I don't want you on my team. I'm sorry, dude. Morale pep talk. Group first aid or stash of food. Let's see what we need most. Everybody's health is very good. We do need morale. Our health is fine, though. How is our food at the moment? 16. I don't know. Morale's supposed to be important. I'm gonna go with that. Sorry, dude. Couldn't we just go around the zombies? Apparently that's not possible. All wearing sweatbands and all super buff. Even their dog is super buff. They demand protein powder. They will also accept 15 food. Dr. Lobato asks, what's up with the outfits? Charlotte challenges them to a pose off. 15 food? We should have gotten more food from that guy, then it wouldn't have been such a big deal. A pose off? Charlotte, really? Let's do it, Charlotte. Let's do it. She's nowhere near the muscle mass of the bandit. She loses the pose off almost instantly. They take extra supplies to teach the group a lesson. That is terrible. Aww, oh, we should have gotten food from that person. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Abandoned campground with a fire pit. Dr. Lobato even finds an old, somewhat stale, extra large pack of marshmallows. Well, we better eat those. Okay. They eat marshmallows instead of dinner. There's even some left over. Well, that's good because we needed food. Well, that's just... It's not going too well right now. Rain. It's hard to see and the shapes of zombies lurk right on the edge of the darkness. The group isn't sure what would, what would be worse, continuing or stopping here. I do not know. Only two days left. What should you guys do? We need more food, though. We really need more food. Let's seek shelter. A large horde is closing in. Oh no. One hour overwhelming horde size. Fred doesn't really have good weapons right now. 
I got a shotgun though. And Charlotte's got a gun. Yeah, you need that, Charlotte. I don't know. Well, hopefully we can at least get some supplies. We really need some supplies. That's... We really need supplies very badly. I was hoping we could get some food, but it doesn't look... Doesn't look like there's anything here. Well, maybe this was a bad idea. We gotta go till 7, maybe? Where are these zombies coming from? They're coming from the ceiling sometimes. Yeah, we're gonna get surrounded. This is why I saved my shotgun. Will you guys survive? I do not know. You don't have much food. This is, uh, not great. This is a lot of zombies. We're getting cornered! Don't get cornered! Switch! Okay, sledgehammer. I got that now. Okay! Okay! Try to escape! Why would I stay? That would be ridiculous. 100 zombies, but we are low on food. Yeah, we should have just, uh... We should have gotten food from that guy. Noises from the car have already started to draw attention from the undead. Pet shop or grocery store? I'm gonna go with that. I got some more ammo! Yeah, you just need to use that for now, Charlotte. You have a mop as a backup weapon. We just have a billion guns with no ammo, I guess, for it. Come on, you guys. We really need some food right now. So let's find... It's morning, which is good, but there's a lot of zombies. There's a lot of them. Okay. We need food. We need food. We're really low. I should have gotten food from that guy. That's what would have been more important. I made poor decisions. Is that it? Is that all they have here? I'm wasting ammo. I don't know. Is there anywhere else? Come on, friends. Come on, friends. Is there anywhere else we can go or should we just get moving? Maybe we should just get in the car and go. I don't know. Let's just get in the car and go. We're so close to Canada. We're so close. We're very close and we did get some food. Our health is all good. Our gas is all right. Sitting around a campfire. Finding this campsite was rough, so they are getting in a bad mood. Crispin should plan out tomorrow. You're getting close. Crispin plans out the next day. It's a good use of time and helps them focus on the big picture. Morale increase. All right. Crispin is very, very smart. Are we going to make it? The group runs into another car, much like theirs. It's rotting nearly totaled, and is full of skeletons! And probably a bunch of bugs and other gross things. Yet another sign that many attempt the death road to Canada, and not very many make it. Crispin can be philosophical, dismantle the car for parts, be philosophical with Lobato, or search the car for loot. What should you guys do? I think you should search the car for loot. All right, we got some ammo and food. The trunk is completely stuffed with rolls of toilet paper. It's all rotten and full of bugs. What a letdown. Morale decreased. Everybody's morale decreased. Uh-oh, you guys are getting so close, though. Be happy. Come on. I wonder if I could get strong enough to just throw the car at zombies. That would be hard. Last shot before Canada. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage. Many have tried to get through. Most only succeed in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. You have six food. I could see if there's anything good here, but, uh, probably not. See ya. I have food. I'm looking for weapons. Sorry, that's, uh, I can't get rid of those weapons. I don't even have much right now. Hello, you. You'll put your eye out, kid. Okay. What about you? Spare gas. 
Charlotte? No, you're not gonna rob him, Charlotte. How much food do we even have right now? Actually, let me just, like, see what we even have. We have enough food for, uh... Well, it can only last a little bit longer. We got 40 gas. I don't know. I don't know if there's certain things I really want to get rid of. Let's just talk to everybody. Let's see. Uh, no. No, no. Be kind to animals. Uh, yeah, I will. Taking a break. Can I talk to you? Crispin has a good feeling about this person. No, I gotta, I gotta get through this with my team. Not gonna listen to your judgment today, Crispin. Duh! I'm a wizard. I can foresee your future. Give nothing to this fraud. I don't think so. He got as far as the city of crushed hopes where the rest of his group was eaten. No. No, no, no. You are not... I, I'm staking with this team. How did that car get in here? How did that get through the door? Uh-huh. We have six... No way. We don't have enough food left. We gotta keep what we have. I'm just seeing what these people say. We are so close. I sell axes. Charlotte, stop trying to rob people. What is your problem, Charlotte? Charlotte and Lobato like to rob people. Come on, you guys. Let's go. We are almost there. Are we going to make it? I sure hope so. This is our third playthrough. Why, Canada? There's no way it's going to be any better further north. I'm getting tired of your negative attitude, Fred. Shut up or get out. Everybody keeps yelling at poor Fred. Giant armies of undead perpetually lurch around the Canadian border, unable to cross. The group gets caught up in a lesser swarm before they can find a safe camp. Overwhelming. Oh, the siege is one and a half hours. Oh, no. Oh, no. Poor Fred keeps getting yelled at. You can have my, the shotgun back. There's not much ammo, Lobato. There's not much ammo, and I totally... I want that. Sorry, Lobato. But I want things. I want stuff, so it's mine now. It's mine. Crispin's gotta look out for himself. Okay. We gotta get this. We gotta get through this. Any supplies we can get is good. So what time are we going until? I didn't pay attention. Is it gonna be 10 or something? Keep up with the zombies. Keep up with them. You can do it. Come on, team. We have come this far. We have come this far. It's not too much longer, even though I really need more weapons. I was not good about keeping up with weapons during this game. Batteries going down. But, uh, gotta do what we gotta do. We've gotten so close. Oh no! Oh no! We got this close! Crispin, no! Charlotte, no! No, Crispin! Charlotte! Lobato! Oh no! I have a kitchen knife! Stay away! Crispin didn't make it! We got this close! And Crispin didn't make it! Oh! This is terrible! It's just Dr. Lobato and Fred now! Okay, let's get out of here. This is terrible. This is... No! No, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! My spleen! Fred! Only Fred made it! Only Fred! Oh, no! Fred is all by himself now! Even in the post-apocalypse, I hate Mondays. Oh, Fred, he healed his wounds. He feels inspired. So his health, I don't think we're getting his health any better at that point. Oh no! Fitness increased! Nine Zombo points. I have nine out of ten. I should spend them. Oh my goodness, we lost! We lost everybody! Fred prepares for the brutal day ahead of him. Canada is close, but the zombie forecast is bad. He eats a decent meal. He eats a second meal. His morale increases. Oh, this is just terrible. I lost Crispin! And Lobato and Charlotte. Nearly at the border to Canada, Fred is surrounded by seemingly endless undead. To survive, he must face one last siege. This is the final siege, but not the last battle. Overwhelming noon. Four hours? Four hours? Oh my goodness. Okay, everybody. Fred's gonna die. We just know Fred's gonna die. 
Fred's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's just... He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna... He's gonna freaking die. He's not gonna survive this. There's no way. I have an axe now! I have an axe! Fred! Fred is all by himself! Oh, Fred. I don't know. There's probably no ammo in that gun anyway. I have a billion guns. Oh, no. Fred, let's go this way. There's not many... They're coming through the ground now! They're coming out of the ground! Fred! Oh, Fred. Just don't get surrounded, okay? Don't get surrounded, Fred! They're everywhere! This game is so hard! Oh my goodness! Fred's all by himself! Who needs Canada anyway? Well, there you have it, everybody! Our third playthrough of Death Road to Canada! Dang it! Is this... okay? This is Zombo Town, apparently! Death Road... What are you talking about? Okay. I can buy things here. Amazing new product. Unlocks. What are you talking about? What are some of these? You can't rely on guns to survive. Ultra fit mega buff or athlete. Uh huh, debutante. Mechanic friend of dog health care. You can make those better, I guess. You should use intelligence and decorum. She crushes a teacup into fine dust. I mean, some of these are ones I already have, and I can make them better, I guess. I guess. Uh huh. Maybe I should upgrade some of the ones I already have. Yeah. Upgrade surgeon. Okay. I'm just gonna upgrade some of these things. Let's upgrade surgeon again. Yes, that's a very good one. Now we'll have a... We'll stand a better chance next time. Okay. Healthcare, maybe. Yeah, I like the health ones. Okay. Healthcare again. That would be good to be better with a, uh, with fixing cars, for sure. That would definitely be useful. That'll maybe make things a bit easier, hopefully. But yeah, I don't know how many playthroughs it's gonna be before we get through this. But it's been fun. Some kind of bird, it's chirping something. Challenges. I don't know what these are. There's a lot of them, though. There's a lot of challenges, and I don't know what any of them are. Toilets open, zombies splatted. Yeah. Okay. We'll take a break soon. I don't want to repeat the tutorial. No, I'm good. Hello, Skelly. Delete all of your data. No. Why would I want that? I don't think so. Yes, I do. All right, so we'll try playthrough number four next time. For now, it's time to take a break. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to visit us at virtualbastion.com for more gaming goodness. Goodbye, and you're welcome. <laughs>